Welcome my friends, so glad you could join me. My name is Wonka and today we're going to be playing Car X Drift Racing Online. Still a mouthful. And if you guys are still enjoying, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think you will. <sighs> you guys remember this game, right? It's been a while since we played, but there has been some new updates that I thought maybe you guys be interested in checking out. Maybe you just like to see drifting, so you don't really care about any of that. You just want to see me drift. Well, have no fear. We will get to that very soon. Now, one of the new things that they have added is this wheel adhesion. So you can actually change how much grip you got. So let's... Oh, it changes the, the tire. Look at that. That's that's interesting. Actually changes to different tires. So let's try what's the lowest we can go? 90. Let's try the lowest grip we can go on this extremely high powered car. Whoa, 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 chill out there. Could be fun. Could be could be a disaster. I like that it actually changes the aesthetic of the tire as well, though. That is cool. That is really cool. Ooh, look at that camber. So I actually um did this vehicle in a previous episode, um, but there was some problems with it, so um, it never, never saw the light of day. Um, I think I still wanted to be here, actually. Ah, yes, here we go. So now we can actually also set the offset. So as you can see, these tires sitting a little far in for that. So if we want, we can just poke them out a little bit. Look at that. Good as new. I guess, okay, but we don't want the rears out that much. I forgot, we just wanted the fronts out. Put the rears out a little bit, but not as much as the fronts there. That that looks probably good, maybe a little bit more. So yeah, that's basically the two new features in this aspect of customization that we can do on this car, which was the request from the last video a long time ago, but don't worry, I didn't forget. Um, so let's just take it out for a spin and then we'll get into what else is new. All right, so I had to earn a little bit more money because I needed to for the new map. Um, but I also realized transitioning with the front tires so, so lacking of grip <laughs> is really hard. So I'm going to try upping that a little bit. We're also going to maybe up the tire width just a little bit on the front. Hopefully it doesn't poke too much. Looks pretty good. So I can't remember if we did these two tracks or one of them in the last episode. I know we did Springston. I know we've done... Have we done Milton? No, we have not done Milton. Oh, there's Milton Reverse. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, Milton is, a, as you can see from the track, more or less a pretty straight track. It's not the greatest for drifting. I've tried it a little bit off camera. So we're going to go straight into Navarro Base B because I did quite enjoy the original Navarro base. It was a lot of fun. So hopefully B is just as fun. And then we have Cami Road basically is going to be our last major drift course because this one is also looking like more of a time trial. I mean, you can do it. You can drift, but not as much. But that's, that's, that's good. It worked out pretty good. We're basically at the end of the game, end of the tracks. So I'm not complaining. So let's see what we can do now. It is very, very different to drive this thing with less grip. But I like it. It gives people more options in their tuning. Because certain cars just might not lose traction easy enough. This one is, it is a little weird right now because the front is gripping ooh, so much more than the back. Forgot that you just bounce off things in this. Oi. You can kind of actually see the front end gripping and trying to just pull me in while the back end's sliding. And it almost looks kind of like twitchy. But we'll see. We'll see if I can kind of figure it out. Probably shouldn't have played with these things, but you know. It was just to kind of show you guys what's new. Wasn't necessarily so that I could have the best run of my life. But we're kind of getting the hang of it a little bit here. It does really want to fight me sometimes. Oh, and then you just lose it. And pour black smoke everywhere. Take that, global warming. 
the environment ain't ish but a O and a ooh shortcuts drift through the plane drift through the plane jump drifts okay bounce drifts more like it ah but we couldn't hold it we couldn't hold it it's too bad there wasn't an option for maybe some kind of reverse entry into something there <laughs> wouldn't have been intentional but it would have been badass nonetheless but I like this there's some more planes we can go under I don't think I'm making it up that but that's okay we'll just we'll just pass on by that one for now it's we can leave it for a later date oh boy going through the forklifts no dang not the best not the best but again I am not used to this tire grip at all I was I was messing around with this car with a hundred percent was getting not too bad with it at a hundred percent and now that I've made them drastically different from each other and stuff, it's it's a little bit trickier. But I was noticing with the 90% grip on the front, it was really hard to transfer the car. There would kind of be like a lull in between whipping it ooh, side to side. All right, managed to ooh, managed to get it a pretty good angle and just kiss the wall a little bit, just a little smooch. So welcome to the wonderful world of customization. We have, I believe it's about four or five cars, not a ton yet, hopefully more coming in the future, but this is one of them that we can do some pretty serious customizations to. Now, I mean, there are probably better purples. Uh, maybe not. You know, you, you, sometimes you're just wrong. So this car, I mean, obviously, you know why I picked it. And um, the rims, I can't change them here. Oh yes, I can change them here. So. What we need to do is we click on this body here and we can buy, no, we can't buy. Gonna need some money, but, but we can buy different levels of kits, like all the way to the extreme race kits, like you see here. Is that opposite camber right there? That's different, but um, yeah, there you go. And then once you pick one of these, you can come in here and there's, you know, you can take the, uh, quarter panels off, change the hoods, change the trunks around, whatever you want. You can get a little bit, a little bit more detailed and obviously pick yourself some new rims if you're going to go this deep. So I'm going to have to go and make some money real quick, but I'll be right back. Well, while I make money, I, I changed back to a hundred percent grip. Let's see how I, uh, let's see how I make out with that. Ooh, third gear is quick on this thing. Just gotta remember this is a much smaller course than the one that I was warming up on. Which was one of those big, like, time trial race tracks, basically. Ooh. Ooh. Don't lose it. Oh, God. We're maybe good. Ooh, that was close. Oh, we're not fitting through there. Okay. I <laughs> don't know what I was doing there. Oh my goodness. See, this is almost a place where you maybe want more grip, but not too much where you can't slide it out, obviously. But a little more grip would make you slide a little bit less sideways and more in the direction that you're trying to go. <laughs> but I don't know. It's a fine line, and I am too... too... stupid and lazy to spend the time fixing it to a like perfect point but some people out there have and maybe I should try out one of their tunes one of these days could be could be beneficial oh It's a little bit better though, I, I feel a little more in control. I do feel like I have to slow down quite a bit, but that's just because this thing's so fast. So fast. Probably put a, like a limiter on it or something so that it, it's not so fast, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Once you have the 100 grip tires on, you, you can get a pretty good, pretty good run going, I feel like. Oh, dang, that was a rough ending.
We should have enough now for any of them. They're all 125,000. So, part of me wants to go with the race one because it looks pretty freaking nasty. I love that air filter just sticking out the headlight slot there. But at the same time, you know, something clean or something just JDM as is probably a uh, another good option. But in this specific case, I mean, it's hard to tell. The, the main feature for me is the bumper, which I don't seem to be able to change in that one. I can change it here. Okay, okay. I like that a little bit more at least than that. Now, you know what? For this specific car, I feel like the race one is the way to go. If you want to request something for the next car we do customizations for, you can request the car, request the style, whatever your, whatever your heart desires. I don't think I want to keep... I mean, just like hoodless is pretty badass too. But I think I got to go with one of these. Hmm, I don't really like how drastic some of these hoods are. Kind of wish they were a little more basic. But you know what, we'll go with the one that was originally on it. Oh, wow. So we could, if we wanted to, just completely take everything off. What do you do to the trunk? Alright, whatever, let's do that. I want to keep the, like, the era correct mirrors on for some reason. I don't like those sporty ones. I mean, I love a good ducktail, so I'm going ducktail. It's a drifter after all. We don't need that. We don't need that extreme professional downforce. Remove the taillights completely. Too far? Nah, I like it. Um kind of rims do we want on this thing oh I gotta buy fronts and backs what is this all right I, I went with these rims I don't know I'm too I'm too overwhelmed with all the other options to care about the rims right now <laughs> oh yeah I forgot we can remove these as well <laughs> just completely remove everything like we lost it all um, I think I'm gonna keep the hood though I want the hood I kind of want my bumper back too. I like the bumper. It makes this look a little more drastic. We're going to keep the quarter panels off though, just because it's fun. We're good there. Good with all of that. All right, we're, we're good. We just got to go change the wheels a bit. We can also paint the rims if we want. Maybe just paint the faces. I don't know. Let's, let's leave the faces. And... Um, do we want do we want to do the lip? Ooh, a little chrome lip. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Let's do it. Whatever. I don't even care. Maybe I will when I, when I run out of money. But for now, I don't care. Unlock the tint. Why not? Ah, uh, we don't care about smoke. You can't even really see it normally anyways, so not a big deal. All right. I'm happy with that. Let's purchase it. Now in setup, we need to play around with the uh, tire width, the offset, the camber too. Where is that? Oh, probably in suspension. Um, I really need to fix this camber. It's bothering the hell out of me. Here it is. Rear camber. Like that. Look at that rear wheel. Does not look, does not look good. Just the opposite way. There you go. There you go. Now you're looking a little more normal. What do you think this is? The non-camber gang? Let's be real. Now, I was driving this thing a bit on the base. I'm going to go... See, I don't think I want to go all the way to the next tire up. Maybe we'll try it. Oh, so... oh shoot. I'm playing with the wrong thing here. Um, Adhesion. There we go. 106 in the back. We'll, we'll give it a try. See how see how it handles. That's all we can do. Oh, it has a little toe hook. Didn't even notice. All right. I'm probably good with that. Oh, wait. No, there's one other thing that you always have 
to take care of. Ah, uh, it's already as low as it can go. Check out my sweet hydraulics, man. Although I'm grabbing the camera as well. Alright, so it is as low as she'll go. That's fine. You know, I wasn't... wasn't... I didn't need it to be too much lower, but I was hoping there could be like a little bit, you know. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, never mind. You know what? I'm gonna create my own. Because I'm feeling adventurous today. No password. Server name. Wonka Drifts Bad. Sounds good. Um, I don't want time. Everything else is cool. Create it. Also, you can have collisions on, just some people have it off. So we'll see if anybody joins us. I didn't really like the looks of any of the other maps there. Oh, forgot, forgot to, uh, shift up. It's very important. You should try it sometime in your own vehicles at home. So yeah, actually, uh, the grip choice was probably good. This feels really good. It's not sliding too much sideways. And I'm, I still have plenty of power to roast those tires. Like it's nobody's business. Who's better than bad boy? Nobody. Ah. We'll see if anyone joins. Some people just like the more populated ones. Probably pretty hard to start one by yourself. But if we get a friend, maybe we can drift with him. Otherwise, we'll just kind of, we'll just kind of go around for one more victory lap before we end it off. Maybe see what kind of different places we could try and get into. See if we can pull off any cool entries or something, you know? I really want to figure out how to do this thing well. Oh, and that's... I can tell you that's not it. Let's, let's try that one more time here. Alright, so you come around the corner, you're like, oh, I'm Superman. Look at me go through. Oh, it's really hard to throw it sideways. There's not obviously a ton of room. But I did it pretty decently the first time I hit it. I think. It wasn't bad, right? It was alright. This little slalom part is pretty cool. Oh, that was... rougher than I had hoped. Let's go for round two here. So we come through the slalom... Nope. Okay, we come through. We go here, and we die. Die a painful death. I don't think that's really going to work out too well as far as drifting goes. But let's see if we can do a jump drift off of it. Go through there, jump drift off, see what happens. Line it. What am I doing? Alright, here we go. Through it. And not through it. Not, not quite. Not, not through it at all. Alright, you come around drifting and you're like, yeah, I want to go through the sweet box, but I can't because I'm terrible. And you're stuck. What is this? What do you even do with that? Uh, I guess maybe... I don't even know. this. Alright, nice and slow. Come on! <laughs> Alright, look, I made it through. Jump, drift out. Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo. You all saw it. It was it was brilliant. I I don't I don't know why I can't go through that. Hey, 360. Kiss the wall 360. What? Oh, what happens if I just do this? Whoa. Where are we? I have no idea. That's cool. Just keep on drifting like it was nothing. We didn't just go into some random maze of storage containers for a second. That was kind of making me claustrophobic. <laughs> it was scary. Hold me. Uh oh. This isn't good. We're not gonna quite make it around here. Maybe we can. No, we're we're bad. I mean, not you guys. You guys aren't bad. It's all me. I'll take full responsibility. I mean, I'm so bad, people don't even want to, people don't want to even come in here and drift. I mean, they would know what they're getting into. I straight up told them, Wonka drifts bad. Oh my god, how did I make that? Oh god, <laughs> those, those are the roughest tires I think I've ever run into. Those things were not messing around in any way, shape, or form. Ooh, what's out here? 
I like that you can just kind of explore the maps a little bit too. Sometimes it gets me a little bit lost, but... Oh! We're free! Free to drift however we please! And just hold ridiculously long ones that never end until the helicopter gets in the way. And the hangar. And then a plane. Oh, what is that? That thing was all burnt up. I thought it was like a supercar, but it, it was most definitely not a supercar. See if we can get like a nice little circle going here. A forever circle. Round and around and around we go. When we stop might be when I miss the frickin' entrance. Ah, uh, Didn't work. No roundabout drift for us. Let's try again with the new path. Ooh, we have to come like out here though. Ooh. That's a toughie. That's a toughie. Power! Power! To the people! Oh! Couldn't quite. I tried to give it a little extra gas so it could slide a little further. Didn't work. But on that note, I think that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys want to see the other vehicles, let me know what you're interested in. We got like a couple Nissans. It's like the new GTR, a BMW, an old Sylvia or two, I believe. And let me know what kind of style you want me to go for. Color, anything you could think of if you are feeling like it. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed, just do me a favor, leave me a comment, tickle that like button. As always, if you're new here you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. Negative Camber, they said. It would be fun, they said. Take her easy. Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs>